Hey, welcome back, Lee here. In this video, I want to show you how to decrypt HTTPS traffic in Wireshark. Most of today's web apps are encrypted, so you are left in the dark when it comes to learning and troubleshooting with Wireshark. But we can fix that. Let's get started. So here we have a basic peek app in Wireshark where I browse to cisco.com, which of course is a HTTPS website with TLS. And I'd like you to take note as we scroll down that there are no HTTP packets. It's all TLS, TCP, etc. And we see that it's just application data within TLS. And if we look at the actual packet, we can see that it's encrypted. So the method that we're going to use in order to decrypt this traffic is simply client side and we'll make use of the temporary session keys stored in a file to decrypt the traffic. So we need to get Windows to create a log file where it stores these temporary session keys that the browser has created. And that is going to be created as an environment variable so to get to that, we need to go to the search menu within Windows and type in environment. And then we can click on the edit this system environment variables control panel option. From here, we would click environment variables. And then when within here, you would click on new. I've actually already created this file, but uh, so I'll click on edit. And you will have the same settings as this, the same dialog. And you would type in SSL key log file, all uppercase. And then you would specify the, the variable value. And so you're going to specify the log file and where you want this log file to be created. In my case, I just created a folder within my documents called Wireshark and I just stored it there. So I'll copy this because I'll need to reference this within Wireshark. Once you've created this, click OK, click OK again, and then restart your computer. Now, just to verify that this file has been created successfully, open your browser and just browse to any website. And then once you've done that, go into your documents and just make sure once you open that log file that it's being populated with the session keys. If you've seen an output like this, you've done things correctly. So once you've confirmed that, go back into Wireshark and we need to click on edit to access the preferences. I believe on a Mac, it's through the file menu. Go to protocols, find TLS, and then where it says pre master secret log file name, this is where we need to either browse for it or paste in the log file location that we created earlier. Once we do that, we can see straight away that now the HTTP traffic is visible. The traffic's being decrypted. So this was just a quick one, guys. Just wanted to uh, show you how to set up the client side decryption. And hopefully this is going to allow you to troubleshoot more effectively for HTTPS traffic going forward. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was informative and I'll see you in the next one.